Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the AGV AX9 Adventure Helmet. AGV have had a helmet with a peak and a visor in their range for quite a few years now, and the AX9 is the latest in that run of lids. Some of the earlier ones felt like motocross helmets with a visor added in a fairly rudimentary way, but the AX9 is much more polished in its design. It runs a composite fibre shell and this size medium helmet weighs in on our scales at 1519 grams. That's not as light as the lightest adventure helmets, but that's a very respectable weight for a helmet, especially considering it's got a peak, which is always going to add a little bit of extra to the weight. Venting on the AX9 comes through two vents beneath the peak, which have sliding shutters. They allow air to flow inside, go through channels in the impact liner, and then they can escape through these exhaust vents at the back, which are permanently open. The dual purpose nature of the AX9 shows through most with the chin vent. There are switches for this vent on the outside and also on the inside of the chin bar. If you open the outer cover here and leave the inner one closed, that forces air up through the chin bar and out through holes in the top of the chin bar so it can reach the inside surface of the visor. If you open both the outside shutter and the inside shutter, then it allows some air to flow directly through to the inside. In standard trim, they don't exactly flow a load of air because there's a wedge of foam that's sandwiched between the two vents, which has stopped dust getting through, but inevitably it also blocks out a certain amount of air. If you want more air to come through, both vents are removable. They just unclip and pop out. Taking the front cover off means you can get in there and take out that piece of foam if you like. Then if you put the covers back on, it gives you control over whether the air goes up to the visor, through to your mouth, or whether it's blocked off completely by having both of those closed. Or if you're off-roading, you could take both vent covers off, the outside and the inside, and then there's only a really open metal grill to stop air flowing through to the inside. Let's move on to the peak. It mounts with four screws. There are two on each side, just behind this pull-out plastic cover here, and the peak is adjustable. You can lower it or raise it to suit the conditions, and it ends up being about three centimeters of difference in the level of the peak at the tip here. AGV's owner's manual says you must have this peak in its highest position when you have the visor fitted. Doesn't exactly specify why, but I've noticed that the visor won't lift to its highest point if the peak isn't also at its own highest point, so that probably explains why that's in the owner's manual there. That owner's manual also says there's a suggested limit of 100 kilometers an hour when riding in this helmet with the peak fitted that's equivalent of about 62 miles an hour, and it suggests AGV know that having this peak fitted to the helmet does create some drag at speed. I've reviewed quite a few adventure helmets in these videos now, and this one is not the best of them for aerodynamics. When riding behind a tall screen, I'm sure it's fine, but I wore this on a Yamaha Tenere 700, and the screen on that bike doesn't give much shelter. It felt to me as if the air was catching the peak and pushing my head down meaning I got neck ache from lifting my head back up to see where I was going. Personally, I would run this helmet without the peak if I had to go any distance in one, and thankfully that's pretty easy to set up. Just remove those four screws that are behind the covers there, whip off the peak, and then you get some rubber grommets in the accessories bag that push into the screw mountings. As well as being able to ride without the peak, the AX9 definitely suits use without the visor. Taking it off is really easy, just means removing the screws here either side and it can be done without removing the peak which isn't always the case with adventure helmets often you have to take the peak off to get the visor off goggles fit into this aperture really neatly and the strap sits tidily along the side of the shell if you're running the visor it's pinlock protected with a pinlock 70 grade insert the most basic but it does cover the vast majority of the visor so it shouldn't ever get in the way and it should give you good clear anti-fog properties there's no internal sun visor with this helmet, so you'll need to rely on the peak to keep out glare from the sun, or you'll need to go for a tinted visor and be prepared to change between the two using the screws there. Moving to the interior for this helmet, the lining is both plush and it's removable. There's an AGV Arc Bluetooth intercom available that incorporates really easily without adding too much extra bulk, 
and there are recesses in the EPS behind the foam liner just to accommodate speakers in comfort. The strap fastener is a D-ring configuration which really suits the sporty outlook of the AX9. In terms of approvals, the lid meets ECU 2205 for the road as a full face helmet and it's also ACU Gold approved for competition and track use. It's not been tested under the UK government's Sharp programme, not yet, but that's not really a big surprise. Sharp's been running for 13 years now and doesn't appear to have given a rating to a single helmet that comes with a peak. Customer reviewers of this lid praise the comfort of the lining, the overall lightness and the amount of peripheral vision it offers. There does seem to be some support for that feeling that turbulence can be an issue at higher speeds, but most of those reviewers seem content that this lid isn't really designed to be used at those kind of speeds anyway. I hope that gives you every detail you need about the AGV AX9 helmet, but if you have anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.